asked a question here about mixed methods. We all think mixed methods is good practice to triangulate the data, but some cases where it's um, it's not necessary. So, for example, impact evaluations that use modelling methods to estimate the likely impact of a policy. Uh, well, that would be interesting to have another look at the modelling brief in terms of that. But you know, even though the modelling is in the end some quantitative data, to get to that quantitative data, you've often had to take some. You, you often make assumptions, and the assumptions are often built on some qualitative data. So I think even in that case, there's there's actually a combination of the two. Um, you've, you've looked at qual and quant to make a you know, to, to make what are reasonable assumptions. Uh, and then you do some modelling which is quantitative and you can test how sensitive it is to those assumptions. So, you know, if there's something about, you know, a dropout rate and you've you've looked at some case studies and sort of think about what might be a reasonable proportion and then test how sensitive the model is to that. And if you could reduce the dropout rate, would you get a bigger impact?